my name is Cheryl McGee and I work at the Keller Imaging Center. I'm a mammographer. I've been uh, in mammography for 18 years and we just wanted to just do a short video to explain our new imaging procedure which is called an MBI. This is molecular breast imaging and the purpose behind the molecular breast imaging is that there are times when some patients have dense fibrous breast tissue and it's difficult to image in detail with mammography um, what is going on in that dense breast tissue and this is a totally different approach to breast imaging from mammography. Mammography is always going to be the first step or the golden standard of which most physicians are going to diagnose uh, diseases in the breast However, when it doesn't give them all the answers that they need, they do different approaches, one being ultrasound, which is uses sound waves, and also there's MRI, which is magnetic breast imaging. But then we have uh, molecular breast imaging, which is a new and uh, totally different approach to breast imaging. What happens in a molecular breast imaging study is we inject a small amount of radioactive isotope tracer into your arm and this is designed specifically to go to breast tissue and the breast will uptake that radioactive isotope into any area of the breast that has a high metabolic rate of activity that could mean an infection or it could mean inflammation or also means malignancy in the breast. It uh, takes about 40 minutes to do the exam. It's similar to a mammogram in positioning. However, we do not compress your breast. We only place your breast onto the image holder and we hold it still and stable for about a 10 minute exposure and a total of four exposures, more if we need them. This is our new GE dual head molecular breast imaging system. Dual head meaning that the top portion of the machine and this bottom plate is they're both dual head imagers which they um, once the breast is placed here both plates pick up information from the breast and uh, of course it is sent to a computer and analyzed there. One thing that a patient needs to be aware of before they have an MBI study is that there will be an injection of a small amount of radioactive isotope. This concerns a lot of people because of the word radioactive, it's radiation. But it is a very small amount. It's designed specifically to go to the breast and your body expels it within a period of six hours, just through natural processes. No, it is not painful. Even though the positioning is similar to a mammography study, uh, we don't compress the breast as tightly as we do in a mammography study. The main goal with this equipment is to position the breast and to hold it stable and secure so that the patient doesn't move around. But it does not compress the breast as tightly as a mammogram exam. This particular uh, technology is new. It has been around, it was developed in the Mayo Clinic. Uh, I believe it's been about around about five to six years. However, the equipment itself has evolved and improved since then. And um, this is just another additional study that's gonna give a lot of women a lot of peace of mind about their breast health. And, um, we're just proud to have it here at Helen Keller Imaging Center. If you have any more questions, just feel free to call us here at Helen Keller Hospital at the Imaging Center. We'll be glad to answer your questions.